1979, Marion Stokes pressed record on her television and never stopped. For 35 years, she filled her home with 70,000 VHS tapes. Why? She believed truth would one day erode, not in a single collapse, but piece by piece. She saw it coming, and here we are. We grew up hearing seeing is believing. Today, seeing isn't believing at all. What is real? How do you define real? If you're talking about what you can feel, what you can smell, what you can taste and see, then real is simply electrical signals interpreted by your brain. You know the feeling. You scroll past the clip and before the shock even lands, another thought slips in. Wait, is this real? That hesitation lingers, even when the video is genuine. That's the danger. Not that AI fakes trick us, but that even the truth feels suspicious. Only a few years ago, AI could barely string a sentence together. Now it clones voices, fabricates faces, and even writes research papers. In one cultural blink, we stepped into a world where code can summon anything and our senses can't tell the difference. So what happens when doubt becomes the default? If every photo, every voice, every clip could be fabricated, how do we know what to trust? By the end, we'll unpack what collapses when suspicion spreads and how we can adapt, not with sharper eyes, but with a new way of seeing. Because once the mirror of reality cracks, the first fracture doesn't appear in courts or politics. They start closer to home.